Now, when a casualty is bitten by a venomous snake, the venom enters into the lymphatic system. Now, the lymphatic system is made up of your tissues, and the more the casualty moves, the more the venom will spread throughout the lymphatic system and will eventually end up in the blood supply. Now, there is a special bandage to treat snake bites, and that is a snake bite bandage. Now, snake bite bandages have a rectangle on them. Now, when you apply pervic pressure, the rectangle turns into a square. Megan has been bitten on the lower leg by a venomous snake. Now, the first thing we must do is lie the casualty down and make sure they don't move. The more they move, the more the venom spreads throughout the lymphatic system. The second thing we must do is reassure the casualty that they're going to be fine, and we call triple zero immediately to try and get medical assistance here ASAP. Now, I'm going to go into my first aid kit and grab the first bandage, pressure mobilisation bandage, and I'm going to wrap it straight over the bite site. Now, if you only have one bandage, then it's recommended to wrap over the bite site and to go all the way down to the lower part of the limb and work your way back up. Luckily, my first aid kit has supplied me with three pressure bandages. So I'm going to use the first bandage over the bite site only. How does that feel? I'm going to tuck my bandage into itself and then I'm going to grab my first snake bite bandage. Again, rectangles, perfect pressure is a square. Now I'm going to wrap from the furthest part of the limb, but expose the toes. So I can always check on the blood supply and make sure I haven't cut that off. Now you wrap your bandage over itself by one third. I can see I'm getting perfect squares as I'm doing so. I've got a second snake bite bandage, this one's a little bit different, but same principle, rectangles into squares. Now you work your way all the way up the leg as far as you can go with as many bandages as you possibly have. Tuck that bandage in. Yeah, we Once you've finished applying the pressure and mobilisation bandage, it is always a good tip to mark where the snake bit the casualty. This way, when they get to the hospital, it'll help the doctors recognise where the snake bit the casualty. Now, another good tip is to use anything that you have. I have a triangular bandage. To splint the limbs together. This way, it will immobilise the casualty again and stop them from moving around. So I'm just going to put up, put my triangular bandage under the legs of the casualty, close them together, and then tie them off. Now you could use a jumper, a t-shirt, a towel, anything that you may have. Now we stay with the casualty until medical assistance takes over, and we just rest and reassure them and follow doctor's ABCD.